Hello and welcome back. We previously looked into split option to split into multiple columns by delimiter, which is most commonly used. There are a few other options like split by number of characters, position, etc. So if I go here, split column, I have these options as well. So by lowercase to uppercase, digit to non digit, you are welcome to try this out. One important split option is to split into multiple rows instead of multiple columns. So we click on get data from file from Excel workbook. I already have the file location copied, so I'm going to paste it here. So it says that the file is open at my end, so I'm going to close it. So both sheets have the same data. So I'm going to load sheet one, click on transform data. So let's rename our power query. I'm going to name it delimit to rows. All right, so our sample data has US states right here an index column one two three four five six you, you might see that some of the index numbers are skipping here ignore that for now we have the type of the data so these are city names and then we have the city names concatenated with space and a pipe we want to split the data so that each city name has its own row but the rest of the data should stay the same from all of the other columns so let's start fixing this first we'll click on use first rows as headers because you can see that column names are being used as row number one so i'm going to use first row as headers so this will promote my first row as headers we select the custom column and click on the split column by delimiter again if you do not see your delimiter listed here in this area you can click on the custom and then you give it your own delimiter so for example i'm using pipe here we will not change the option we will keep this at each occurrence of the delimiter because we want this to delimit all of these occurrences not just one specific now in advanced options we will change columns to rows because we want this to split into rows instead of multiple columns we're going to click ok we see that it has created multiple rows for each line depending on how many cities were for each state data from all other columns have stayed the same and just duplicated in each row now looking at the custom column we can see that some of the values have leading spaces and might have trailing spaces as well which we cannot really see in this view we can see the leading space here but it's possible that this has some trailing space at the end as well which we can't really see it here so let's select the custom column right click on it click on transform and now we can use the trim option keep in mind that the trim option may not be available in the transform section on this ribbon area here so some of these options are available by right clicking any specific column so we can see that this has cleaned our column values so if i go back to this step you can see that these have leading spaces here but if we move to the next step there are no leading or trailing spaces here so that's good now let's take it to next step and concatenate state with city name as well so let's segue to custom column from example option in add column tab in this option i'm talking about column from examples this is powered by ai which stands for artificial intelligence i will be explaining this feature in future videos for now let's just use it and get our task done so we want to create a new column with uh, the city name and the state separated by a comma so i'm going to select the two columns which we need to work on so custom column is already selected i'm going to select the state from here click on custom column click on from selection and this brings you to a new window with an empty column at far right you can see here column one so let's give it a good name to the column i'm going to call it city underscore state click on enter and you can see that it has named the column so the far right column this is where you want to give it the output you need and the ai in power query will automatically fill the rest and create the import for it as well so let me fill on the first value so what the value i need will be the city name so if i start typing a b i get this here click on enter and now what i want is i want the state name to be concatenated with it with a comma and the space so i'm going to write the x and this is my output value and it will fill the rest of the column like an excel autofill so i'm going to scroll in a bit to see if it filled correctly if it did i'm going to click on the ok here and a new column will be created and added in your query all right so scrolling it a bit and we can see that it has correctly added all of the city names along with the state picking up from this column here click on ok and you can see that it has added our new custom column called as city named as city underscore state and you can also see that power query has automatically wrote the m code for it text.combine this column with this column separated by a comma space since we're done with this uh, query i'm going to close and load this to an excel table click on ok and we see that we have our desired query right here for reference i am going to show you the vba way to do it as well just so you can get an idea on how easy power query is so i'm going to open this file this is the actual data for this i have this vba here uh, i took it off the internet i modified it a bit just to make it useful to myself so here you can see it's a pretty complex macro that you cannot really easily read or write or change it to match 
different options for example this pipe sign here if you need to use it for a comma you will change this to comma or a dash or anything else so let me run this macro quickly and let's see if it's able to change this to our desired value so i press f5 and it's going to go through all of these rows and create multiple rows just like power query did and we see here that it has done the same thing although in a very complex and difficult way and not very easy to write vba for a new person all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will look at pending and merging queries so stay tuned for that if you're enjoying the content give it like and subscribe and and post your questions in the comment section below thank you